me little sugar bookers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Welcome you guys to the grand opening of Dash of Sprinkles. So I do have a little, well, a couple things I want to share with you and I also want to show you around a little bit because the, um, the layout that you're seeing now wasn't originally supposed to be the way that the bakery was going to look. Um, I was trying to go for a building that kind of matched the general aesthetic of Magnolia Promenade with all of these little shopping buildings and stuff, but I really did feel in my corazón that June's place of business would be a little more like, you know, southern, like home style, kitchen sort of a thing. I just don't see her having or running a bakery out of like a shopping plaza. I don't know. I could be wrong. So this is totally subject to change. But whatever we do, we will stay on this a lot. So here is the downstairs. It's very starter status. So don't like expect a, you know, super upscale boutique or anything like that because it's not going to happen just yet. Yeah. However, the more money we make, the more I'll invest in it, and eventually it'll start looking really dang good. So this is the downstairs, as I had mentioned. We got a couple tables here. Um, the only thing about these tables that I don't like is everybody is constantly sitting at them. I know, I know what you're thinking. Duh, Jen. That's what tables are for. But it's just annoying because... I feel like she should be on her feet trying to sell things and then look she'll come and sit down and have a conversation I don't know it's weird but this is downstairs we do have a full kitchen down here so that June can like cook a little bit and just throw them right in the um, display case bathroom obviously because your patrons do need to pee and then upstairs we have the entire freaking place to ourselves we do have another kitchen complete with our handy dandy cupcake maker but that also makes pastries too it's kind of weird and then we do have an uh, a unit right here where it's like an what is it like on-site unit or on-site suite I don't know what I was calling it yet U units are wigs aren't they <laughs> I, yeah just bear with me guys um so an on-site suite with a single bed and just a stand-up shower um, at some point, I would actually like to turn this into a full bath, right? So that will have like a, a sink, toilet, maybe even a tub. I don't really know. But either way, it's totally fine for now. It fits our needs. And surprisingly, for our first day open, we're doing really, really good, you guys. So I need a little bit of feedback because I am not a business connoisseur. I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to anything uh, business related. So I know that you're supposed to have like employees and all that kind of fun stuff, but that's that's an expense and we can't create a lot of overhead. So I'm kind of sort of thinking that we'll come in here like once a week or maybe twice a week, probably twice a week um, and do the best that we that we can naturally and then maybe hire like an employee. But the only thing that sucks with businesses is you can't run them or you can't have them open when you aren't on the lot, which is kind of stupid. I think in my personal opinion, like. Nobody wants to be here all the freaking time. June, stop talking to your brother. You're just about to miss a sale. Oh my God, that was so close. Anyway, huh, I don't know. It's a thought, but we've got a lot to talk about, you guys. Are you ready? So you remember how in the last episode I was telling you about Brett and some of the things that are weighing on his mind right now. Um, he's always going through things, so it's not really that surprising that he's going through another series of unfortunate events but he totally is and he's been kind of like reaching out to June so that he can get some advice because you know he has two kids with two different women he's been in like so many dang relationships like June can't even hold count anymore and he's come to the conclusion you guys that he is not attracted to women he's just not and he never has been but because he was afraid to disappoint his father. He was just afraid. You know, his ego was in the way. He was totally living in the closet. Safe to say that. Absolutely. And he wants to come clean with himself and with everyone around him. And to be honest with you, he's not in love with his wife, Sydney, at all. And never freaking was. He did, though, however, love Penny. That is a 100% true. He did love Penny. It's just one of the arguments they had, you guys, was that Brett was what? 
not into women and she's the only one that has known the truth been able to hold the truth for a very long time now and that is just a huge weight on her shoulders and she never even told she never even told June that but anyways so that is basically what Brett has been holding on to for a very freaking long time and that is that is that is a hard thing to to basically keep quiet right so um, I don't know when they're going to go and talk about that. I don't know when he's going to reveal that to June, but hopefully he'll be able to get off, get it off his chest very quickly here. Um, okay, so we're going to sell something to Brett, and I think we've already sold like two or three things out of our case, about two things now, which makes a total profit of 142 simoleons with literally no overhead so i'm not i'm not complaining like that's not bad at all um and then pace is actually out right now running a couple errands he has a surprise in store for june a little bit later on you guys will see what that surprise is i'm actually really excited and super surprised because it's a huge freaking commitment that he can't turn back on so brett has just purchased some a plane uh, plain muffins for I think how much was it like 22 simoleons they weren't really that profitable actually okay so we are going to probably go um, and close shop right I, I'm gonna have June maybe work on a couple things at home I want to show you guys how the sims decorate like the pastries and stuff I think it's really freaking cool I never knew it was a thing until like just five minutes ago when I went and clicked on the plain the plain muffins and saw the saw the toggle to decorate things also you guys June has reached a level cinco of the baking skill can I get a what what can I get a who can I get a what what go June you uh so Juniper can now bake carrot bread lemon bars carrot cake spinach and mushroom I have no idea kanuchi uh potato bread and spinach and onion kanuchi and in the kitchen. Yeah, she could cook it in the kitchen. And she could also bake some cream-filled donuts, plain scones, uh, jelly-filled donuts at the Cupcake Factory. Which I do think she made... Did she make... I think she... No. Did we, did we put them away yet? Or are they still upstairs? You know what? I think I left... Okay, so we actually made some creed, creamed... Creed? Creed-filled donuts. Well, isn't that a flavor? Uh, cream-filled donuts that we need to put in this case because they'll, they'll spoil out on the counter. And then, you guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lock up the place and head on home. So June is on her way home, you guys, and Pace is beyond excited to show her her big surprise. In fact, he's going to go in the mirror and kind of pump himself up a little bit Great because he's kind of, like, worried how she's going to receive it right now. And Nixon is upstairs. He just got finished playing some video games. I think what we should do is probably have him go um, bathe sprinkles if possible because she's just so freaking dirty. Hawthorne put herself down for a little nap and it looks like June is just about to come upstairs to see what everyone is up to. So are you guys ready to see Pace's big surprise? I've been talking about it for a very, very, very long time now. You guys, I'm kind of nervous. I don't even know how you all are going to receive this, but... Uh, Come on, daddy. Show them the goods. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, it's official. So we all know that Pace has tats. He's, he, <laughs> look at him. He's, t he's totally giving himself the side eye. But uh, it's been just something in the works that he's been kind of wanting to get a tat of Juniper on his left breast left chest left breast whatever left peck I don't even know um because that is where the heart is so he got it in this really cool like script font and it says juniper so what we're gonna do is we're just, oh, oh, oh sorry waffle oh god I just I always catch you at the worst damn moment like <laughs> um this family knows nothing about privacy but let's have him come over here we're gonna have June come downstairs it looks like that's exactly what she was going to do anyway um and what is that on your look at she's totally looking at it right now like boy <laughs> what did you do and like seriously if those aren't better minds I truly don't even know what is anymore because he has got me smitten kitten um let me see what we can what we can do that would kind of pertain to her discovering his brand new I'm not gonna even call it a damn sacrifice but his show of affection and by the way you guys this isn't all Pace has 
a bunch of tricks up his sleeve. I'm so excited. Oh, and Clem is currently at her little swim practice oh, thing or majigger. So she'll be back in a little bit, hopefully before curfew. I don't even think we have a curfew anymore. I think I did away with that. But she should be home fairly soon. So Maddox and Marisol, let's talk about it, shall we? He has a freaking crush on this girl like none flipping other like I'm not even kidding like he sits behind her and smells her suave hair um he thinks about her he writes in his little journal about her like he he's head over heels for this chick but you guys well I'll tell you later I'm not gonna tell you now I'm hideous my face is a mess I can't go anywhere looking like this what can I do you guys do know that Nixon has braces right because when he was younger he knocked out his two front teeth and so he, that's probably where this insecurity is coming from um we could say it's fine don't overreact or try some light makeup like what um it's fine don't overreact thanks for the advice who did he ask oh pace of course pace would say that he would never suggest makeup of all things but um yeah, so he does. He oh, they're all like wearing red right now. What is this? <laughs> a little, little late Valentine's Day. But he does have his braces on, don't he? Yeah, he does. See, that is so freaking cute. Oh, and he also got a sweet fade. Look at his hair. It's so freaking awesome. Like I honestly love this kid so much. Where did he go? There he is. Yeah, there is his hair. So. Oh, so fresh. Okay. Well, Nixon and Maddox are doing their own thing. Obviously, June is having a conversation with Pace. What is she doing outside? She's dancing. Oh, that's cute. Um, somebody's getting a text message, and Clem just came home from her swim practice. Looks like it was a good time. Did we get any sort of, like, relationship boost? Um, not really, surprisingly. And Faith has no hair. We have to fix that. Um, but Matt, let's give him, let's give Matt a little text. She's super freaking tired or close to time. What is your problem, sir? He, look at him. Look at him. He's totally going through a phase. The edge of a breakout. Does that say breakout or breakdown? All this stress is going to cause me to break out. Ugh. More stress from that thought. Ugh. Oh my God. I love him so freaking much. <laughs> I wonder what he's stressed out about. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, look at her. She's over here freaking it acting like she's clog dancing i love it she can really get down with the best of them she's so freaking sweet well, let's give everybody a little a little energy boost i kind of want to like check out hawthorne what is she doing it's kind of funny that she's sleeping so early uh i wonder if she's potty trained because if she isn't i'm gonna have june come over here and potty train hawthorne really fast uh, i'm gonna have pace oh he's working out oh well that's good you know what? i'm gonna let him keep working out are you showing her pictures of marisol you are Ooh, she likes her she's like she's cute yeah absolutely how's sprinkles doing um okay they're fighting over the food bowl again well we'll have clem fill up the food bowl and we're gonna schedule a time to every hour like just every hour on the hour we're not gonna even worry about it anymore and then we're gonna also kind of clean up or put things away too as well because the kitchen is getting a little nasty uh let's put this away put that away there's like cake there's like you can tell like what is going on here there's so much food all over these counters and it's just bunches and bunches and bunches of french toast like who the hell made this much food and just left it here you guys are like not the freaking foremans you're the wastemans like this is unacceptable um all right well let me let me go see what june's doing oh this potty train thing is not going well <laughs> <laughs> she's she ain't liking it y'all i freaking love her man uh, i really want to get um hawthorne a pet like a little a little a little micro pet right one of the, like the rodents from the rodent stuff pack um <laughs> what do you guys suggest should we get a, a hedgehog should we pick up a rat or a hamster a lot of people were saying hedgehog which i thought would be kind of cool i even think clem would be down for a hedgehog um, but now that we've cleaned up the kitchen almost just forgot one last pan i'm gonna have pace come in here and kind of help out by cooking up a little bit of grub actually do we have a grill we do we do got a grill so i'm gonna have him come out here and uh grill up some let's see his his skills actually his skill's actually getting pretty good, too. I'm really impressed. I'm really, really impressed. He's going to make some shish kebabs uh, for 27 Samoyans, right? That's it? That's not that bad. Okay, awesome. Brett Hecking, I got a tip that it's Aliens Night at the bar. Do you want to go and check it out? Um, I absolutely do. I would love to go to the bar with you. In fact... Rain check real quick, bro. I'm going to make some food for my family, and then I will meet you there. It's totally fine. Pace, I mean, he doesn't even get to go out. And I feel so bad because we have been absolutely freaking neglecting um, France. 
Brands. 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 I don't even know. All these B names, man. They got me all freaking twisted. All right. Well, I'm going to have everyone come out here and grab a little McGrubbins. Uh, let's see. I don't know why, like, the twins are sleeping. It's only, well, I, I mean, it is it is 10 o'clock, Jen. It's not, like, super early. But, yeah, let's go and uh, schedule a little a little play date with Brant here. And you know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we should invite Brett, too, because although June still hasn't found out what's going on, we know, but she don't know. I think it would be really cool for um, Pace to invite Brett because, you know, he is going through a hard time. And I don't know. It just seems like, you know, a little guy's night. No big deal. Like, he doesn't really know what he's kind of doing here. Eh? 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 I know. I know. I like it, too. I like it, too. Trust me. I like it. You like it. We like it. Um, but, yeah, he's <laughs> just <laughs> slap him on the butt and call him Pace the, the pacemaker. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was going to say Pace the matchmaker. But, you know, if he hear Francis in the background. Just, you know, <laughs> what is it? Who let the dogs out? Mm, mm, uh. What if I told you I don't think Francis's name is Francis? I'm not kidding. I actually fr think Francis's name is Buddy. Maybe, possibly, or that's at least what the owner calls him. I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty positive that he invited Brett's, but there could be a possibility that I jacked that up too. Um, oh my God, there's one person we we're literally trying to ignore, Remy Ferris. How fitting. Uh, I wonder if maybe it's because we did a little like group thing I'm not sure I'm gonna just try to pull him into our group anyways just in case I know I think he should be here no he's already here perfect well where are you boo boo oh there you are okay well I think what I accidentally did is I like initiated some sort of group which I didn't mean to do, but I'm totally down for it. That's okay. Um, I think it would be like once you invite like a couple like of your group members, then all of a sudden like the whole freaking clan comes. And this is Charles. Somebody was asking me in the last episode about uh, Brett's kid with Martha Daxted. And I'm, I'm really surprised like none of you saw him there. I'm pretty sure I invited him, but let me see if I can pull him up real quick. He might actually be on June's friendship panel. So let me see. He's super freaking cute. So this is Daxton McNeil, a.k.a. Daxton Thurston. And oh, my, my God, he's just woo. I'm a little confused why he still has a toddler trait. But, you know, <laughs> it doesn't. We, we can ignore all that. Anyway, let's just focus on the boys and them having a good time. Honey, you are barking up the wrong tree. I mean, so maybe not. Maybe he likes it. I don't know. Uh, let me see if we can invite, not invite, but um, have Brett and Brant talk a little bit. Maybe we can, like, talk them up or something. Let me see. Honey, you are at the wrong place. What are you doing? Like, I, I really don't understand how I ooh, hook up with. Should we? No, because then that's obvious. Then obviously Pace would know, right? But he doesn't know. So that doesn't make any sense. But talk up. Yeah, we're going to talk up uh, Brett Thurston. Let's see. I mean, it'd be really cool if they, like, ended up getting in a relationship just, like, anonymously and without any sort of in in uh, intervention whatsoever. Um, but after we do that, we're going to come over here and we are going to order a drink for the group. I think we're going to get a what a fucker burger. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but we're going to get this. And I know a lot of you want the foremans to go on a little uh, vacay. I'm totally down. Trust me. But we've got we've got some other things kind of going on right now. Um, can't talk about them, but we do. It's in the works. I feel like we're really starting to like make some serious progress. No, this is definitely... This is like the most unauthentic Cats and Dogs Let's Play ever or the most like, uh, what do you say, drawn out prequel to Cats and Dogs. But I promise you, we will get there at some point. Speaking of which, I'm really sad because I feel like Sprinkles is going to get old soon and she's going to croak. We need to spend more time with her for sure. Um, but look at the outfit that Brett is wearing. Oh, my goodness. He's super freaking fashionable. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to let these boys kind of kick it and hang out. Um, you know, spend a little time together without me intervening. It is 2 o'clock in the freaking morning. I'm positive June's freaking out. But I'm going to go back to the house and see how everyone's doing. Oh, so I came home, you guys. And June is over here watching a movie in the living room. And Sprinkles was beside her. They were, like, totally freaking snuggling. Anyways, I guess she's having a super duper 
a hard time falling asleep because Pace is always by her side and like she trusts him. Trust me, it's not coming from an insecure place. But she's also just, I don't know, maybe worried a little bit. I really don't know what's going through her head. So she thought maybe a quick little movie would kind of take her mind off of things. So I know it's a little bit dark, but obviously we don't want to turn on all the lights right now. It's really, really, really freaking, well, I guess it's kind of early in the morning, right? Well, somebody isn't home and it's not just Pace that isn't presently present. Uh, Maddox decided to be a really freaking cool idea to go ahead and sneak out the front door while June wasn't looking and meet up with Marisol. That's right, folks. The one kid that I thought had his crap together is actually turning out to be quite a little freaking rebel. Um, so Maddox decided to go meet, meet up with Marisol at her house or at a park. I honestly don't know where this kid's at and I don't know what his whole thought process was behind it, but Sometimes kids will do stupid, stupid things for love. Anyway, Pace is going to kind of make his way, make his way back home. Um, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit buzzed, a little bit, you know, drunk or whatever. Um, super exhausted, mind you. We're going to also have him come over here and pay the bills, which are for thousand almost five thousand freaking simoleons so clearly we don't have that money whatsoever but you know what he's feeling he's feeling a little bit edgy he he's yelling out to june hey turn off the movie why don't you come and uh, hang out in the hot tub with me so let's you know what yeah let, let's turn things up a little bit M meanwhile we have no freaking idea that Maddox isn't even in the house right now, but June's not going to let that stop her from uh, having, having a little fun with her, with her man. So I don't know, maybe he'll come over here and like skinny dip. Let's have him skinny dip. You know, drop those trunks, baby boy. Um, she needs a cute bathing suit for sure, because this one, this one's a little raggedy. Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, you know what they say about big feet, y'all? Big socks. Oh, it's already like daylight. This is super freaking cute though. I'm actually really impressed that she was able to stay up so long waiting for him because she gets really tired, like super freaking early. Where is he? Um, he should be sneaking in the front door at any moment. All right, let's just try to wait for him really quickly here. I want to I want to make sure that he he gets in without getting caught. Okay, so his responsibility went down significantly because even though um, I technically used like a cheat or whatever. Oh my God, <laughs> error logged. Uh, it still affects his responsibility, which is kind of cool. Who is in our bed? Oh my God, Nixon, that's the wrong freaking nest, my friend. All right, well, that's totally fine. We'll just come over here and sleep in uh, Nixon's bed for the time being. But did it increase their relationship at all from seeing each other? Otherwise, I might manually increase it. It did a little bit, but not really. Um, that was like seriously the most short-lived hot tub sesh I have ever freaking experienced in my life. I guess it's because it's daylight now that June and Pace got a little got a little cold feet and decided maybe not to have a little rendezvous in the tub. Um, but I am going to have them kind of go to sleep right now because it is super freaking late, y'all. And I think this is a really good opportunity to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have any suggestions for me about Maddox and Marisol or anything else that happened during this episode, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and with that said don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think and i will see you all next time bye guys